I'm about to get started on framing my deck. The concrete in the piers has had about two weeks to cure, so it's ready for me to drill and set the wedge anchors. I purchased some of the lumber to frame my deck. In particular, I purchased four 20-foot 2x8s, which I will be using for the rim joist and the beam. We happen to have a supplier in town that actually sells kiln-dried treated lumber. So I thought that would be helpful to prevent warping over time. I also purchased a number of 12-foot 2x8s, which I will nominally cut in half for the actual joists. But I really wanted to get at least two 12-foot lengths that were nice and straight so I could use those for leveling and squaring my deck as I set the rim joist and the beam. Now that I got this, these two together, all I really want to do is I want to keep track of what's what. So I'm going to write that this is the east end, okay, so I keep track, okay, and then I want to make sure that I know that this is the top, okay. So this, I'm just going to write it here since I know this, this is the face I want up, okay, so I got it nice and even. So I have both beams paired up, so they're doubled up. And what I discovered is I can very easily drive these guys flush. Basically I can countersink these guys. Uh, so I'll just go through and I'll do the same with the other beam. I actually worried about this a little bit thinking that I didn't want the heads on the rim joist facing out because my fascia has to go over the top. So before I, I actually place my beams and what I'm calling my rim joist on the outside edge of my deck, I'm gonna go ahead and mark the joist locations. It'll be easier than, uh, than when it's in place. Now I have, I'm gonna do both of these at the same time. The ins these are the inside edges of one set of joists. I'm gonna mark these first and then I'll flip the beam over I'll mark the other side because I have a little bit of different spacing because I'm trying to accommodate the window wells. So my first joist is at a kind of a funny location because I have a joist specific to the picture framing and in particular to support my railing. I'm putting the, the joist on 12 inch centers so I'll just mark these and then I'll do one more. And I'll take I'll take a square and I'll just mark them off so I'm just marking marking with an X for example I'll have I'll have a choice at the very end here all right and then I'll just continue on down the way So I'm temporarily placing a, a board that I can use for leveling and squaring. And what I'm going to do is I got a some flashing I got to slip between those two pieces. So I'm going to do is I I want to be able to attach this to the ledger. 
So I can't get any screws in the end here because I got my conduit in the way. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just using this drop that I'll use to attach it. So I'll just put these screws in temporarily. Okay, so my plan here is I'm going to get this piece of wood as level as I can, okay, and square to the house. And then I'll adjust the beams to, uh, to accommodate it. So I got to raise the outer end a bit, which I knew actually. I'll put this more or less in the center. Actually, that's pretty good. Something like that. Okay, and I'll go back and forth with it. So, okay, that's pretty close. So you can see my beams, my beams, my joists are a little high. So the next thing I'm going to do is I, I'm going to do the three, four, five triangle using nine, 12, and 15. And what I did is I drove, I drove a nail. I'll do the same thing. Yeah. You see I have a dot that's that dot right there should be fifteen feet. So I got the the rim joist and the center beam placed and you know reasonably level. In particular I got the, the east end which is the far end. I got that I got that temporary board very level. And then I got the the board spaced away from the house the right amount. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and, and secure the temporary board on both ends. I'm gonna go ahead and just temporarily screw this thing together so that I have a frame so that I can start measuring the size of the brackets I need to fabricate. So recall this is just temporary. I'm actually going to be installing my joists to the to the beam because this this is not strong at all. Uh, I'll be using joist hangers. Okay, now I'm just going to move down to the next one. Basically, as I go, I'm going to get closer and closer to square. But right now, this board here is square and level. And this guy here is parallel to the house. It may not be entirely level yet. I'll break out my laser when the sun sets. And I'll get everything perfectly level so I can, I can adjust the gap between the, the pier and the bottom of the joists uh, so when I fabricate my my brackets they fit exactly right so I'm about to uh, attach another temporary board on this end now I I have this guy high relative to the beam because I need to clear my sidewalk So the plan right now is to walk around and uh, measure the elevation and see if I can actually adjust the corners. The temporary board attached to the ledger board on the far end establishes my elevation. And since that temporary board is level, I expect the part next to the driveway to be level. So now all I need to do is see what the discrepancy is from the top of my beams, in this case the rim joist, is between my, my laser beam and the top, and then I adjust accordingly. So here I'm just using some of the wood that I have lying around and taking advantage of the uneven surface level of my ground to prop up the beams as necessary to get my my level where I need it to be. 
So here I'm just using a, a small block of wood, just shifting it around to, to, to establish the height that I need. And then I, I just keep going back and forth until I'm, I'm, until I'm satisfied. So what I'm actually trying to do is, is figure out what the spacing is between the bottoms of my beams and the tops of my piers so that when I fabricate my brackets, I can include a spacer that will actually support the bottom of each of the beams. And now I just got to go back and verify that I'm pretty satisfied with the distance between my laser beam and the tops of my various beams. In the next video, I will fabricate and install my custom brackets. If you found this video useful at all, please give me a like below and comment either way. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to follow along with me as I finish my deck project. And if you do, you get to see me in the next video.